let's talk about how you can calculate days between two different dates in Salesforce. So we're gonna jump into a developer org and show you two different ways to do that. So here I have an opportunities report and what I wanna do is I wanna see the days between the last meeting and the date that this was created. I also wanna see the last meeting and the close date. So wanna show a little bit about that and we're gonna do that here in first off in the report itself and we're gonna do that using a row level formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this report here and I want to add here a row level formula. And so I wanna go ahead and add this. Uh, I'm gonna add it, let's say, uh, days between meeting and create, right? It's because I have the create date and the meeting date. And so I want this as a number and I'm gonna put zero here. And so what I wanna do here is add these two fields here using a quick subtraction. But as we see here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the last meeting date insert and I'm gonna hit minus the create date. But notice here, if I put this create date, because create date is a date time, we need to convert create date into just a date. So I'm gonna do that by putting the date value of create date. And if I hit, uh, if I go ahead and check this, it's now looking at just the date it was created, not the date and the time. So I've converted that to the date value. So here I have the last meeting date minus the create date. So if I go ahead and hit apply, we will now see this on this far side. We have the create date minus the last meeting date. Great, so I can do that on a report and save this on a report. Very useful here. But if we realize that we want this, this days between meeting and create uh, across multiple reports, we don't wanna have to create this on a report. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a custom field on the opportunity. So I'm gonna go here into the setup and I'm gonna go to the object manager. We're gonna jump into the opportunity and I'm gonna go ahead and create a custom field, which is gonna be a formula using that same uh, equation there. So this time I'm gonna call it a formula. I'm gonna say days between meeting and create. And we're gonna have it as a number with no decimals. So here again, same thing. I wanna go ahead and grab the uh, that field of last meeting date, which is gonna be right here. And I'm gonna try again, show you just one more time. If I go ahead and put in the create date, which is a date time field, it's not gonna like that because it's trying to have a date field minus a date time field. So again, we're gonna go ahead and make this as a date value. So we're gonna go ahead and convert this to a date field check the syntax and there we go make sure we always put in description so we're going to say uh, formula to calculate whole days between the last meeting and the create date of the record and there we go i'm going to hit next and I'm gonna go ahead and save this field on all of the layouts. So those are the two ways that you can calculate days between two different dates, on the report specifically, or on the object as a whole. Making sure that we are converting any date time fields to date fields or vice versa as needed. Let me know if this was helpful and I'll check in the next one. Thanks.